Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, as you can see, my curls are still on vacation. This is my Costa Rica hair, but it's still going, going pretty strong. To be completely honest, I was just about to cut them out. This was going to be a takedown video. But then I got like dressed up and cute and I was like, well, maybe I can push it for like one more week. <laughs> I just don't want to part with them yet. You know, it's like a three hour process and only wear it for like a week-ish is just not enough time. But although it looks good like this, underneath, it's starting to already grow out. My little fine hair is like hanging on. And embarrassingly enough, I went to a uh, a show, a Cirque du Soleil the other day, and as I was putting stuff in the security box, like my phone, one piece like fell out, and I was like, oh. <laughs> like this, and I tried to put it in my pocket and go through security, oh my God. So I think it was like one of these here on the front, on this like little hair that just couldn't, couldn't hold on any longer, and it went whoop, and just slid right off. <laughs> so I was like, okay, it's a sign to, to part ways with them, but I mean, I can still kind of hide it. I just want to maybe keep it until the end of this week and then I'll take them out. <laughs> but since I am gonna stretch it, I want to do some hairstyles. I didn't get to do a hairstyle video, but I am aware that this part, you know, is getting a little frizzy. It is getting grown out. It's not like, you know, tight to my scalp like it was when I first got it done. I know this. So just pretend that the front of my hair is still neat and compact so we can continue on with this hairstyle video. Deal? Deal. Okay, so first of all, just know that when I get protective styles for vacation, I'm not really taking care of my hair. I am not trying to like save and preserve my braids or locks or whatever because I literally got them so I could be carefree. If I wanted to be like stressed about my hair, I would just keep it curly. But I know I wanna go in the ocean, I wanna go in the pool, I wanna put my hair underwater. I don't wanna worry about not getting my hair wet. That's literally why I get my hair in braids or something, so that I can get it wet and be carefree. So this definitely would have lasted even longer if I would have not been swimming, you know, going in the ocean, actually taking care of it every day. But I haven't, but that's why I get them. And I also know that I can't wear them for a long time because of my channel and I need my curls back to make more videos. So this style is great. It definitely would last at least like two months, honestly. I need my curls back in like weeks, so that's why I didn't take the best care of it. Okay, so first things first, when you wear your hair like this, you can just have it in the middle part, like so. When you take pictures, you could have all of your hair up front for like the full, like, whoa, that's a lot of hair or split it in half so it's not as like demanding. These little photo tips as I give you hairstyle tips. Have some in the front, some in the back, one in the front. You could do a single or two just for, for posing photo sake. But then I also really liked how this looked worn to the side. So because this is done in crochet, if you guys know what that is, watch my install video. It's just like all my hair is in a cornrow right here and then she just attached the hair to the braid. So I can easily flip my hair into sections depending on where my cornrow is and go like this. So that's how it looks to the side. I think I really like the side. And now let's kind of just, let's just fix this little part just a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna spray some water. And let's just like gel it down. Look at this super teeny tiny little ego. This was in my travel bag. Um, it's the smallest, cutest little jar of Eco Styler gel. <laughs> Keep this on you for vacations. I shouldn't be using it now. But I'm just going to just slick it down. That way it doesn't look as crazy. And then I could even do some baby hair. This is my pattern baby hair brush a little crusty does this work for edge control let's find out oh, okay that's better that way it's just a little neater i don't know if this gel has enough hold for my edges 
yeah, it's not really staying down. I'm gonna grab the Kiss Edge Fixer Glued Maximum Hold Pineapple. I can't even say this is a favorite of mine because I think it does, it kind of flakes eventually. I just still haven't found a, one that I love, but it has a great hold. There we go. That's better. Worn to the side. Okay, now let's put it up. This is where it's getting, getting it a little bit more noticeable that my hair has grown out. Let's do the same thing to this side. And kind of smooth it down. Now let's do a little half up, half down situation. You really just want to get the front ones, and that's why this is so grown out, because I had it in this style in Costa Rica a lot, because I kept pulling it back, so that's why. It's totally my fault. Um, grabbing some here, and just like maybe the front section, the front row. Now as you can see, this is a very big ponytail, so you're gonna need a very big elastic. I like these jumbo scrunchies from Goody, and I also like these silk scrunchies from the Curl Friend Collective. If you guys follow Frizz and Frills, AKA Chloe, this is her new brand. They're so cute, I have black and I have this cheetah print. Let's do cheetah because it's fun. And with these, I could just go around one time. And it's cute and loose. Look at that. Love these scrunchies. If you want a little less pizzazz, you know, you can go with the regular elastics as well. So, some up, some down. And we even can keep out a couple. If you want to just keep some, keep some out. Now, I'm going to keep this same piece and try to do like a little bun up here. I don't know if this is too much hair. <laughs> I definitely want to get the front ones. Let's try to make it smaller. So maybe cut this in half and just get this very center piece. Ooh, but this piece is falling. Maybe we'll bring that up just for look's sake. <laughs> oh, this is an arm workout. Let's catch my breath. So I'm going to, I wonder if I need to do the scrunchie. Let's do a scrunchie just to be safe. I'm gonna grab my black elastic and do a tight ponytail on the very top, almost like a pineapple. Half up, half down again. But we're gonna do a bun. So I'm actually going to twist it like this and start going around and then just tuck in the curls in the back like so. You could shape it where you want. I think I want to put a bobby pin. Got 99 bobby pins and can't find one. I just want this little part to stay down. So I'm gonna bobby pin it like that. There we go. Like so. Okay, let's take this down. Take out the scrunchie. And this is where the silk ones are even better because they'll slide off way easier. But if you want a tighter hold, these are good. Now I'm gonna go back to my middle part. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight of them on this side. And I'm going to braid it like so. And I'm gonna stop at the curls right there and do the same thing on the other side. Now that we have our two braids, I'm going to just pin them back. Like so, giving you like a braided crown look. And I'm going to clip it with this gold moon clip that's from GSQ by Glam Squad from CBS. Very like dainty flower crown vibes. You could even add some flowers here if you're going to Coachella, like, it's so cute, so simple. Great thing about locks is you can undo it and it's not gonna be a hot mess as if you would your curly hair. So we can do multiple styles with ease. Now this next hairstyle, I actually got inspired by one of my curl friends that came on my Costa Rica trip who also had her hair braided. She did this pretty like large one-sided braid. So let's take like a good chunk 
like this much and see how this looks. I'm gonna do one section, two, three. And let's see how this looks. The large braid. She just had it like hanging to the side. It looked really pretty. I think I even liked it better on her like smaller individual braids. It wasn't like as chunky, but I guess if we go like this, we could even make a really large kind of crown. Let's try it. We're experimenting today. It's no rules. Take another large chunk. Does everyone know how to do a regular braid? Grab the middle piece. Then you grab this one. Then you grab that one. This is also easier when you don't have rhinestones on your fingers. <laughs> so now that we have our big Queen Abidala braids going on, I'm going to connect these two in the back. So if you want a big old thick crown, go like that. Just add some texture to the look. Can we do space bonds with these? Too much <laughs> and lastly you could do a little side swoop so we're gonna go to our middle part again bring it over flatten it down grab these pieces grab some here and I mean you can twist this if you want like this or you can keep it flat I'm gonna keep it flat grab some of these and then clip it like so now, usually I could do a lot more hairstyles, but this time I got a lot of hair. Like this is a lot of bundles. <laughs> this is a total of eight bundles of hair. But to be completely honest, when I first got to Costa Rica, my hair felt so big because I got it done the day before my trip. So my hair didn't really get a chance to like, you know, kind of settle in, look a little bit more lived in. It was like, you know, fresh out the pack. So it kind of made my head look like kind of puffy. <laughs> and it was just like a lot. Once I got in the pool, it felt heavy. People think that like this hurts. There's actually no tension at all. Like it feels great on my head. It's not as tight as like with braids because it was all crocheted. So it's a much more comfortable wear. And the hair is actually light. But when you get it wet, I was like, <laughs> so I actually ended up taking out 25 of them so i had even more hair than it is on my head i just kind of grabbed the loop and i just took some out kamara my stylist really likes to pack it on there for a good reason because now because i took some out you can kind of start to see the braid and that's what you don't want as it grows out so she puts a lot on here so when it grows out you still can't really tell I didn't know how long I was gonna have this in my hair and I just kinda didn't care. I didn't wanna wait for it to kinda flatten out to my head. So I took it out, I messed it up, I can admit that. But it is easy to put these back on. I might, you know, add some more if there's any little bald patches. But because there is so much hair, it's too much to put into a ponytail. And a braid ponytail is very cute. Like, let me just show you. If I tried to put all this in a ponytail, it's just, it's too much, it's just too much. So I can't do bony tony tails. I can't put it all up in like a big bun. It would look like a giant beehive. So that's all I got for you for this amount of hair at this length. I do think that when I am going to go on vacation and do some more swimming, I'll probably do an even more simpler style with less hair, less braids, maybe just do two braids, something just super simple if I'm not going to be able to wear it for a long time and it's strictly for swimming and just vacationing. But overall, this look has been so much fun. Um, I do have a tip for when washing it. I put it in a trash bag. The Febreze scent is optional, but I have been putting all this in a plastic trash bag and I tied it up in a bow 
worked like a charm. So as you can see, we are still keeping up with the hairstyle challenge. I wasn't just gonna opt out because I got my hair done. I did some lock styles for you guys, staying on trend. I think my next video is going to be my takedown. Oh, parting is such sweet sorrow. And I'm gonna show you how I take out these locks, how I take out the crochet, and how I go from this back to curly. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified as soon as my video goes live so you don't miss that video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.